Hello everyone, thanks for joining us this morning and welcome to this educational presentation of Catching Big Trends with Bollinger Bands. Now in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you a strategy that's usually reserved for our members of Specialist Trading, but I'm going to give you the entry rules to this particular strategy so that you can start applying it as early as Monday if you like. For example here, let me show you how powerful this simple strategy is. If you remember, just a week or so ago, Yahoo Finance reported that Apple becomes the world's first trillion dollar company. All right, it's unbelievable, trillion dollars. And the, the, the point here is that just a year earlier, on November 13, 2017, Apple became the first $900 billion company. But last Thursday, or a week ago from last Thursday, they became the first company in the world to reach $1 trillion valuation. Now let me share with you in my over four decades of trading how most people invest. They will see news like this and say, boy, there's no way you can go wrong investing in Apple, right? I've been thinking about it. And maybe I'll put it in my uh, IRA or my long-term uh, portfolio account. And after this news came out, as you can see right here, this is where you want to buy, right? Because the news can't be bad. Well, we're not here to tell you whether news is good or bad at all. The only point we're trying to tell you is that there's no consistency because sometimes you'll have great news come out and you know a stock will go straight down. Other times you'll have terrible news and the stock will go straight up. So we're looking for things with consistency. Now in this method I'm going to be sharing with you today, it's so consistent you actually would have found a buy signal generated a full three weeks in advance of the news. Now no one called us up and told us that uh, it was going to be announced it was a trillion dollar company, the first ever. The CEO of Apple didn't call me up and we don't follow any fundamental news at Special Trading Pro Trader Strategies. Well how did we know? In fact, how did we know that the strategy generated a buy signal three weeks before the news and before an 18 point gain. Well, I'm going to share with you exactly how you could have found out. You're going to be able to find out how you could have gotten into Apple had we had this presentation a good three weeks ago. So as I stated earlier, it's extremely powerful strategy, but extremely simple. And the reason it's so simple is because we make it that way. We have it all pre-formatted on our new PTS Primo Charting platform. This is the trading educational platform that teaches you how to trade. So it was specifically designed to make things simple so that you could get out of your own way and really get on that road to consistency. So as I stated earlier, this promises to be a great educational presentation today. Thanks for joining us. My name is Stephen Primo. If you happen to come in late, I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And almost nine years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies where we had one goal and our mission was simply to educate traders. We're not here to tell you we have the master system that costs ten, twenty thousand dollars but you'll never lose. We're not here to tell you that you're going to be rich and retire in six months. We're not here to tell you what market to trade or what the perfect market is that's emerging that no one knows about or the perfect time frame to trade or, or the perfect indicator. We don't believe in that. If you look at uh, webinars around the internet today, they all have the perfect secret that's supposed to make you rich and help you retire. And if they work so well, then why is it estimated the opposite, that roughly 85% of all traders fail? That was the mission behind what Pro Trader Strategies and I put together. We discovered that it was what was missing is education. When you rely on someone or something to tell you how to trade, you're basically taking yourself out of the game. You're telling the markets, I don't know what to do. I'm not good enough to trade with everyone else. I'm not educated. I don't have enough experience. So why don't you do it for me? And that's the way the entire business, uh, the uh, financial business is structured. But if it works so well, if that business plan for the entire industry works so well, then why is it estimated that 85% of all traders fail? And when I say fail, I don't mean that you go into a slump or you lose some amount of your capital. I mean that you give everything back and you have to save up some more or you just say, I can't do this anymore. Okay? So that's what we provide. When you are educated with things that have shown consistency, that's when you get yourself in the game and you don't have to rely on some so-called guru or some so-called uh, institutional system or class that works wonders. You can rely on your own decisions. And in my 41 years of trading, that's the only thing that makes someone consistent. Not a master system, not a master class, not a master guru, but your decision making process. As I stated, I've been trading for 41 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. A specialist doesn't mean you are any more special than anyone else because there aren't a lot of specialists around. So just to define what a specialist was, it means that if you wanted to buy or sell a stock, you had to call your broker and your broker called the floor broker 
who in turn walked up to the trader who specialized in making a market in that stock. So he would either buy or sell shares in that stock for you because he was making a market. So I did that. I made markets in IBM, U.S. Air, Waste Management uh, during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. I've seen and traded just about every system, every technique you can think of. If there's something that's brand new out there, it's probably been around for a long time. They've just reformatted it. I've traded it. I've been around in every environment you can think of. I've traded through crashes, through straight up markets. So I've you know, seen and done just about everything you can think of. So why waste your time trying to go through this when I can shorten your learning curve by giving you sound fundamental education, mentoring you so that you can put yourself in the driver's seat. That's what we do and that's our goal at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. So as you'll see today in this educational presentation, I don't want to just give you some strategy that is supposed to make tons of money every day and, and you never have to worry about anything anymore. I don't believe in that. There will be losses from time to time. That's okay. But what I want to do is educate you. You'll see the devotion, the time I, I give to educating you so that you can be in charge of your own decisions. OK, now, before we begin, as always, we are first required by law to share with this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results, a lot of charts using this strategy. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated. And as I said in the opening statements, we are an educational company and all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So once again, as you're taking a, a brief moment to view our required disclaimer, I would also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you, if you haven't done so already, to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to copy that down. It's abbreviation for specialist trading. Every day I post different information, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated uh, to actual bits of wisdom I've accumulated along the way for trading the market. So feel free to follow us on Twitter. Okay, so as I stated in the opening statement, we're a little bit different from other webinars you may have attended. If you're new to attending my presentations, we're all about educating you. See, when I first started out 41 years ago, I was doing the same thing probably most of you are doing or have done. All right, I was following all the news. Uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, uh, chat rooms then, but we had newsletters. I was uh, subscribing to all the newsletters. I was, uh, you know, uh, waiting with bated breath for every uh, financial uh, uh, news uh, announcement that was coming out, anywhere from earnings to jobless claims to even money supply. That's what we followed back then. I was watching all the pundits on TV, and I was doing everything I had been taught, looking at volume, support, and resistance, following what the institutions were doing. And guess what? I couldn't make a dime. This was 41 years ago. So if those things couldn't help me then, why do you think they're supposed to help you now? Why do you think some 10,000 class following the institutions or following volume or support and resistance or Fibonacci retracements is supposed to help you? OK, it didn't work then and it most likely is not going to work now. So I was lucky enough to have a few mentors. They were specialists themselves on the floor who saw how much I was struggling. And they taught me the same things that I teach my students around the world in over 115 countries and in virtually every state. So if the things that they taught me are good enough to sustain me now going on four decades, hopefully they'll be able to sustain you as well. Because that's our goal, to teach you, not to trade for you, not to have you come to a chat room so you can see what to buy or sell, not to tell you what the perfect market is or time frame. Those are things you're going to have to decide. We teach you so that you'll know what to look for and that so that you'll become comfortable in making your own decisions. This is the same edge I was taught, the specialist edge that sustained me. Hopefully it will be able to sustain you as well. All right. Now, since this is an educational class, once again, if you're new to my presentations, I love to take your questions. But if we stop for every slide, the way some other presenters do, we'll be here a good two or three hours. I don't want to take your Saturday morning. So uh, please wait till the end of class to ask questions. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them at the end of today's class. OK. All right. So the only question I will answer is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical difficulties, many times if you just log off and log back on, the issue will be resolved. It's your own Internet connection. But if you're still having technical difficulties, don't worry. We will send everyone a link to this recording. All right. So let's begin. We're going to be talking today about a great strategy specifically designed to capture big trends. This is strategy 3A. OK, now let me give you a little bit of background about this. Let's talk about some of the highlights. There are different types of strategies based on the format. This is what's called a continuation strategy. So what do we mean by that? Well, what we're doing is we're looking for some clues that a trend has begun or is about to begin. 
And usually what happens when a, a large trend just is just getting underway, it will pause, it will stop. With the help of our unique Bollinger Band setting, which I'm going to be giving to you today, it will tell us when to get back in when the trend has resumed, okay? Now, this is based off of a unique Bollinger Band setting that's not what you usually look at. Now, it's specifically designed to trade quick, powerful trends. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every trade is a winner. That's okay. But with our money management and with your exits and your risk-reward ratio, you should be fine with this. We have students who trade this on virtually any market, any time frame, in any direction. So even though the majority of the slides I may be showing you today are on stocks, don't worry. We have students that use this on intraday futures, on intraday stocks, on currency pairs, on weekly bars, monthly bars, straight uptrends, straight downtrends, so it makes no difference. I don't want you to think that. Well, Steve, I didn't see any examples in Bitcoin, so I guess it doesn't work. It works great in Bitcoin. We have Bitcoin traders that use it. So it's up to you to decide, though, all right? Remember, the way most presenters say is, that is they'll tell you, we have a strategy or a system. It's only for this particular market, this particular time frame. That's silly. You should be able to decide, not the system or not this guy on, on the Internet. So that's why we present you with the education, the information. Then you decide which market, which time frame, which direction you want to be trading. As with all of our strategies, okay, there is a certain level of consistency. But we want you to learn the method first. So I know a lot of you are going to want to jump in feed first on Monday and start trading this. I would suggest that you not do that. Why? Because mostly you will lose because you didn't study the method enough. You probably got the wrong uh, proprietary settings for the Bollinger Bands. You probably didn't uh, do the exact rules of requirements. And so you'll have the first couple of trades, there'll be losses, and you'll say, this doesn't work. Oh, my goodness, why am I doing this? When a lot of students of mine will do the same thing, they'll email me, and then I'll look at their example, and I'll say, well, the reason why you lost here is because you totally implemented this incorrectly. So please, paper trade this first so that you fully understand the process. All right? Our edge is consistency meaning that there will be losses from time to time, that's okay. What we are looking for in any method is a two-step forward, one-step back process. You've heard me say that before. The one-step back means that you will have losses. That's okay. I had losses on Friday, made them back later on in the day. That's okay. You want to be confident enough to know that even if you have a loss, your method is resilient enough to make it back as soon as possible. So that's what we're looking for. All right. Let's talk about Bollinger Bands, because this method is based off of Bollinger Bands, and let's give you a brief refresher course. Some of you may have used Bollinger Bands, some of you may have not, some of you may not even know what Bollinger Bands are. They're a very common uh, indicator, a very common tool, and uh, a, a good tool. We're not going to sit here and tell you that it's not good. It's a very good tool developed by John Bollinger. And here's what it is. It's usually three lines or three bands. Now, the middle band is simply a 20-period moving average. That's all it is. So what you have is a, a line or a moving average or a band on top of it and a band below it, almost similar to a moving, uh, or I should say, a moving average envelope, but it's not the same thing, all right? So the upper band's distance and the lower band's distance are usually the same distance. Uh, one is above and one is below. That's what we call the standard deviation. Now, I'm not going to go into detail talking to you about the makings of this indicator and what it's based off of, just let you know. The upper band deviation or the upper band distance is usually defaulted to plus two. That's the distance that's going to be above the 20 period moving average. The lower band deviation is defaulted to a negative two. All right. So if we just click on any charting software, because Bollinger Bands are just about on any charting software, here's what it'll look like. We look at this older chart of Facebook. The red line in the middle is simply the 20 period simple moving average. The top Bollinger Band is right here, and the bottom Bollinger Band is right here. They both have a deviation, standard deviation of 2. This is plus 2. This is negative 2, okay? Now, we're going to change things a bit. We're not going to use this setting because this is how we're going to determine when to enter, when a trend is underway, and help us a lot with the strategy. Here are the proprietary settings that we're going to be using. Now, you may want to copy these down, but don't worry. Remember, once again, don't feel as if you didn't have time to get a pencil or paper or whatever. Everyone gets a link to this recording, so there's no reason to worry. It will be on the recording for it. All right, we're going to keep the moving average, which is the middle line in the Bollinger Bands, the same. It's going to stay at 20 period simple moving average. The only thing we're changing is the deviation. In other words, the distance of the top band and the distance of the lower band. 
That's it. And we're going to go from a default of 2 down to a fraction of plus 0.382 for the upper deviation and negative 0.382 for the lower. So they're going to be equidistant from the middle moving average. I know a lot of you are going to say, wait a minute, Steve, these are Fibonacci numbers. So this is based on some Fibonacci thing. Trust me, I said the same thing when I learned this 40 years ago when I asked my uh, mentors. And they said, listen, we were given this strategy by our mentors, all right, at 0.382. The same thing is devised. So what we're trying to say is don't worry about it. There is no Fibonacci support resistance or there's nothing involved in that. If you want to experiment with a different number, if you want to experiment with 0.999 or 0.666, it's okay. Trust me, I have experimented with every number you can think of. The best setting that I found in my 41 years of trading is plus 0.382 and negative 0.382. So it doesn't go any deeper than that. If you want to make it some mystical Fibonacci thing, go ahead. But there's nothing that relies on that. You can change it and alter it if you like. In fact, all of our strategies, we all tell our students that if you want to alter something, that's fine because you're in charge. Remember, that's our credo. That's our philosophy. We're not telling you we don't sell or teach systems. We're giving you education, things that work. If you want to alter them to meet your needs, that's fine. Just as long as you stay within the realm of that strategy. In other words, if you start adding things we never talk about, such as news or such as uh, support and resistance or, or uh uh, earnings reports, well, then that's going out of bounds because we, we never discuss those things. We only look at the chart in front of us. But if you want to change a setting on a particular tool we're using, feel free to. We encourage that. We want you to be in charge of your own trading. Remember, that's how someone becomes consistent. Not by making a method into a system and by following what someone else says, but by being in charge of your own trading. So these are the standard uh, settings for the proprietary Bollinger Band setting that we're going to be using. Now, you should be able to uh, edit this on your charting uh, uh, software package, whichever one you have. Uh, just go into the edit box of Bollinger Bands and just change the upper and lower deviations to 0.382. Okay, that's all you need to do. But you should be able to do that. If you can't, you're not going to really be able to properly implement this strategy. So this is extremely important. If you're having difficulty on your platform, contact your tech support. They should be able to to adjust it for you if you are having difficulty in doing that, okay? So let's see what this proprietary setting looks like now. Here is the standard setting with the plus and negative two standard deviation. When we go down to fractions to 0.382, look at the way the Bollinger Bands change, all right? Exact same chart, same time frame, same market, but the Bollinger Bands now have this more fluid look to them. This is what's going to help us determine when a large move is underway or starting to become underway. All right, so let's look at the buy rules now. All right, so you know how to set the, the Bollinger Bands. And remember, if some of you happen to join us late, we have a good crowd here today. Don't worry, we will take questions at the very end, okay? So if you're having difficulty in hearing or in seeing the presentation, remember, once again, we'll send you a link. But oftentimes, it's your own internet connection. Just log off and log back on, okay? So... Uh, contact your tech support if you are having trouble. We, we don't work with every platform to tell you how to do it. It's up to you to decide and figure out with your tech support. They're in charge of that, okay? All right, so let's look at the entry rules. They're very simple, and we're just going to give you the entry rules now because it wouldn't be fair to the people who spent good money on this where they got the exits and the stop placement and the money management. But the entry is the basic meat and potatoes of the strategy. If you've been trading for a while, you'll know where to protect yourself, where to place a stop. Uh, let's say you want to place your stop below the last short-term low. Okay, well, then you can figure out, well, if I'm risking a couple of points, then I'll just double that and I'll make twice what my risk was. You can do that. That's a simple way to fi figure it out. But in our course, we tell you all the exit levels. We tell you all the stop placement choices. We tell you all the different money management techniques. I'm just sharing with you today the entry rules, okay? Because I know I'm going to get questions about that at the end where someone will say, Steve, I love this. Where do I get out, though? Well, that's part of the course. I can't give away everything. That would be like me owning a restaurant, and then I give you a free appetizer, and you say, God, Steve, this is great. Now, where's my free meal? You know, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of the people in the restaurant who paid for their meal. So I, 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 but I'm, what I'm doing is giving you a really basic portion of the strategy, okay? Now, we're giving you the entry rules for buying, the cells will be the exact opposite. There won't be any difference. We'll just turn the rules upside down. But let's look at buy entry rules, okay? All right. Step one. 
you want to plot the proprietary Bollinger Band setting on your chart, obviously. Let's say you're looking at a five-minute chart of the E-mini. Let's say you're looking at a monthly chart of Facebook. Let's say you're looking at a weekly chart of Bitcoin. Makes no difference. You want to plot a proprietary Bollinger Band setting, the one we shared with you. So let's just look at this older chart here in Amazon for educational purposes, and then we'll look at some more recent charts. Someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, <clears throat> yeah, Amazon had a big move here this last week or so, but the chat room I go to, the guy, he's a really good trader. He's been trading for 10 years now, and he says that all these indicators show that this is tremendously overbought. It's not going to go up any higher. At least it has to pull back a little bit. Then maybe I'll think about buying it. And uh, he says that the institutions uh, say this is major resistance here, so they're going to start selling it. So I'm going to sit on the sidelines. I'm not going to do anything. All right. You see all the justifications I, I gave for what this thing was going to do? This is the way most traders trade, myself included, when I first started trading. Everything is based on what someone or something is telling you. But it's not based on what the chart is telling you. At specialist trading, we only listen to one thing. That's the chart in front of us. So when we add the Bollinger Bands, it's so simple to find out what it wants to do. So let me share with you how simple it is on our platform, because this is our PTS Primo charting platform. The first thing you want to do is simply go up to the green strategy tab where all of our techniques, all of our methods are listed and click on 3A. You'll get a drop down menu and you'll click on the indicator, which is our pre-formatted Bollinger Band. So there's nothing you have to do. You don't have to go into MT4 or NinjaTrader and try to figure out how to change it. It's already pre-formatted to those 0.382 settings. And once you click that on, it automatically appears. See how simple this is? That's why our platform was made to make it trading simple for you. Okay, so that's step one, plot the proprietary Bollinger Band setting. Step two, what you want to look for on a buy setup are five consecutive price bars that close either on or above the highest Bollinger Band, all right? Five bars in a row, consecutive price bars that close on or above the highest Bollinger Band. This is for a buy entry setup. All right, so we look here and we see, well, we have bars here that come below, they close below, then they above, then below. But now what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five consecutive bars, okay? That's our setup right there. Now, this is what we mean by making our platform an educational tool because we teach you all the rules the way I'm teaching you these entry rules right now. But we want you to educate yourself and to check your work because how are you going to know if you're going to be progressing or not? Sure, you can email me whenever you'd like, but sometimes I'm so busy or trading or giving webinars or conducting seminars on the road that it'll take me a couple of days to get back to you. So we devise the platform, Pro Trader Strategies and myself, to make it easy so that you can check your work. So we see here that you have one, two, three, four, five bars. Okay. Now we go to step three. We're going to enter to buy when price trades one tick above bar number five. So we have bar number five right here, and we want to buy right here. If the next bar or, or bars continue to go higher, we're going to jump in and buy. All right, so five bars above the highest Bollinger Band is enough to get us long. Now, the most popular question I get here is, Steve, does it have to close there or it just has to trade there? It just has to trade there. We don't care where it closes. Many times you'll see it trade there, Maybe it'll even open, open higher, and then close lower. That's okay. The only, uh, I would say, thing that you have to look out for is since we know we're going to buy, but we can't buy till it trades here, let's say the next bar is lower and the next bar is lower, and then we start to go down and we close below this highest Bollinger Band without ever trading above bar number five. Well, then I would suggest negating the trade. Why? Because the, the market is telling you that it's run out of steam and most likely that trend is over. It's not going to turn into a big, powerful trend. So remember, as long as we stay above that highest Bollinger Band, we can wait a couple of days, even a couple of weeks. And we don't need it to close above here. We just need it to trade there. So you would have entered right here. It traded, in fact, the very next day. And what happened to Amazon after that? Nice, big, powerful trend, okay? Now, what happened to the institutions all selling? What happened to these uh, support and resistance lines that were supposed to be so powerful? What happened to the indicators that said this was too over uh, bought? It's got you got to sell it. OK, there's no consistency in those things. Sure, they will work every once in a while, but they're not enough to make you a consistent trader. You will be more consistent if you learn how to listen to only one thing. That's the chart in front of you. 
And the chart in front of you is always telling you what it wants to do. Remember Apple? It was telling us prior to that announcement that it wanted to go higher. But what do we do? We wait for news to tell us what to do. We wait for some guy in a chat room to tell us. We wait for some indicator. It's, you know, the market's telling you before that. So why wait? Why make trading more complicated than it has to be? Now, once again, I know you're saying, well, Steve, this is great, but where would I have gotten out? Should I have bought calls? Should I have bought, uh, you know, uh, sold the puts? Do I buy the stock? Where do I place my stop? Remember, this is all explained in the course. We just can't give you all those now. It's, it, it, once again, it would be using the metaphor of me giving you a free five uh, course meal uh, when everyone else is paying for it. So I'm, but I'm giving you the meat and potatoes right now, which is the entry portion. All right, let's look at some more recent now 3A examples. That was an older Amazon example just to share with you what the process is, to show you how simple it is. Let's share with you some recent examples and you're gonna see how simple it is to do it on your own. You won't have to subscribe to some service. You won't have to go to a chat room every day to figure out what to do. You won't have to figure out what the institutions or what the uh, volume is telling you. You can do it on your own with our new platform. And it's a lot cheaper and a lot simpler. All right, so let's go back to our first example of Apple. Remember the news came out here and this is the way most traders trade. They'll wait for news and they're usually way late. How could we have gotten in somewhere back here? All right, well remember the market was telling us right here that it wanted to go higher. How was it telling us? Well, the first thing you want to do is click on strategy 3A, if that's what you're trading, click on indicator, and we see the pre-formatted Bollinger Band setting. There's nothing you have to change. So if you want to rely on your old platform, you're gonna to have to figure out how to change it yourself. Maybe you have to do it every time you want to look at the chart. With our platform, it's already there, all right? And all of our indicators and all of our methods, everything is pre-formatted for you, so it's one click away. All right, so you say, all right, let me see here now. Okay, uh, it's below, but now it goes above. Guess what? We have one, two, three, four, five bars above. Now, I've been studying this method for a week or so. I think that's a buy signal, but gosh, should I email Steve? He may not get back to me for a couple of days, or should I look at the video again? Uh, but I need to know tonight, all right? If you have our platform, it's as simple as clicking on the Strategy 3A tab, clicking on signal because it's, the signals are already pre-formatted. And guess what? You were right because a green up arrow will appear. Sharing with you that we educated you and that you checked your work and you're correct. That is a buy signal. But it's not part of the method just to jump in and buy at the market. Sure, you can do that if you'd like. Remember, it's up to you. But the standard format calls for you to enter one tick above, provided we don't go all the way back down here and close below. And look what happened on the next bar. You would have entered right here, it traded one tick above, and that's how you could have been in Apple a full three weeks before everyone in the world learned it was a trillion dollar company. Do you see how simple that was? I mean, there was nothing you had to overcomplicate your trading with. There's no institution you had to follow, there's no volume, there's no tons of indicators, there's no uh, blog you had to subscribe to or chat room, uh, there's no uh, fundamental news you had to wait for or earnings. The market told you it wants to go higher and it's right there. All right, let's show you some more examples. All right, FCN, coming into the beginning of August. This is at a really nice run, all right? How could we have taken advantage of this in hindsight? For example, how could we have gotten long right here? Did the market tell us, or did we have to wait till some announcement came out and we gapped up? Obviously, there was some news or something happened where we gapped up, and this is where people usually buy based off that news event. But I wanna buy back here, all right? Click on 3A, click on Indicator, and the pre-formatted Bollinger Bands automatically appear, all right? Now we're below the, the uh, bottom Bollinger Bands. We never traded below the fifth bar, and then we go back above. So all bets are off going short. Now that we have one, two, three, four, five bo uh, bars above, we are now looking at this as a buy. So right here, the market was telling us the trend has changed to the upside, and we are now a buyer. We're not looking to sell this at all. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone's prediction is of this stock in a chat room or on TV, the market is telling you it wants to go higher until it changes its mind. So our job is simply to follow whatever the market wants to do. We have to just add a little structure, that's all. So we have five bars closing above, so that means we can go long the next day right here, which we would have. But how could we have checked just to make sure we were in line? Click on 3A, signal arrows, and yes, you are correct. There was a buy signal on that day. So the close of this night, you would have known that night to wait for the stock to trade one tick above and you could have entered. And it was off to the races. 13 points 
in coming into the first week in August, okay? Let's look at a chart that goes to the downside. This is ABC coming into August as well. Once again, how could we have taken advantage of this to go short, all right? Click on 3A. See how simple it is on our platform? We make it so easy for you. This takes, process takes a matter of seconds. Click on the indicator, and we can see here that at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five bars. The market was telling us it's going lower. I don't care if someone said, oh, this was a gap down, tremendously oversold. We're going to come all the way back up, probably make new highs. This is just a pullback. Unless we start closing above, the market is telling us, no, we're going lower. That's all you have to do. You don't have to look at support and resistance. You don't have to look at uh, uh, Elliott Wave. I mean, there's no consistency. I, trust me, I know of some people who are able to make really good money trading Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, trading uh, support and resistance, and they're probably 1% of the total amount of traders I know. And that doesn't even include me because I can't make money trading those things. They're too subjective. I, you know, I'll look and see support and I'll talk to another trader who says, oh no, that's resistance. So you don't want things that are like that. You want things that are cut and dry. Five bars closing below, five bars, close, five bars closing above. It's as simple as that. There's no subjectivity there. There's no room for a discretion. You know whether you are above or below the Bollinger Bands. So right here, ABC was telling us, unless we have five consecutive bars closing above, I'm going lower. So here's bar number five. We check our work, and this was pretty easy to see. This was a sell signal, so we're not going to sell at the market. Sure, you can if you want to, but we're not going to sell there. We're going to enter one tick below. Now, we had to wait three or four days. Remember, the suggestion is if we close back above this, if we close back above, the bet's off. We're going to look for another setup. But we got up here. We went above intraday. We closed below. We went opened above intraday, closed below. So we never closed above that Bollinger Band, and we went short right here. So we had to wait one, two, three, four days, but that's okay. The market was still telling us. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, Steve, I still don't know where I would protect myself. Well, let's just say you get in right here. The last high was right here. So you could have placed a stop above, okay? And nine points to the downside, okay? I'm sure that was two or three times your risk amount. And that was coming into August. The same time Apple was going up, ABC was going down. So there's no need. You can, if you want to, try and follow a group and say, well, if the entire market is going up, I should only be long. You can do that if you want. We're not here to tell you how to trade. But while stocks are going up, there are other stocks going down. We only trade each stock for or each market for what it's telling us. We don't care to follow along with a group and think that it's got to follow if it wants to. Now, Remember, once again, our, our philosophy is not to tell you how to trade. If you want to trade that way, go ahead. But there's no, there's no rule that says you have to. All right, let's look at some other markets because we know not everyone trades stocks. All right, here's an older chart of the E-mini, an hourly chart. We have five closes above, all right? So you would buy. The, the software generated a buy signal, so you know that you're on track. You're going to buy one tick above, which you did. The exact same rules. Nothing changes because we went from a daily stock a chart to an hourly chart. And where someone would say, well, Steve, this look how uh, these are hourly bars. I mean, this is too overbought. How can I buy this? Well, you would have missed a good 12 point rally if you had stayed out. That's $600 per contract. Now, if an hourly chart in the E-mini is too rich for your blood for the risk, well, okay, let's look at a 10 minute chart. All right. We have bars below, but then we close above. So the count is dead. We have to start over. And then the next bar, we start over one, two, three, four, five bars. So that's our valid sell setup. But we can't sell at the market. It's, if we want to stick true to the basic format, we can only sell if we trade one tick below. And we did on the very next bar. So now we're short on this 10 minute time frame and 17 points to the downside, $850 per contract, okay? That you could have taken advantage of. Now remember, we give you different levels in the course to exit. Let's say you wanted to take a one point gain. Sure. We're not here to tell you you can't do that. This is not a system. Let's say you wanted to go for 20 points. Well, it's up to you. But we just show you different ways in which to exit. How you decide to trade is entirely up to you. Remember, our philosophy is you're in charge of your trading, not us. We're not like a, a, a webinar where I have the perfect system and all you have to do is buy it and follow the rules. No, we're giving you a basic format, but then we give you different uh, alternatives for entries, for exits, for stop placements, so you can decide what make you feel comfortable. Maybe you want to take a big 
stop and have a lot of risk. All right, some traders like that. Maybe you're the type of trader that has wants to take as little risk as possible. Okay, maybe you're the type of trader that wants to get in and out. You don't care about a big gain. You just want to take these small little gains. Okay, maybe you're the type of trader that wants to stay in as long as possible. There's nothing wrong with either of those scenarios. The only thing that's wrong is when you are not trading according to your means and your persona. So you have to figure out what makes you feel comfortable with all the variables we give you, and then you decide. Here's a chart of the Canadian dollar. The same format occurs, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five closes below. That's our sell signal. We go short one pip below, and we did it on the next bar. So now we're in, and look what happens. 642 pips in the next three or four weeks, over $6,000 per unit. Okay, so let's recap before I know you have a lot of questions you want to ask me. Let's recap. Remember, this is a continuation strategy. We're looking for a trend that's just been established or it's just starting to be established. And then we want to wait for some type of pause before we jump in. We do this with our unique Bollinger Band setting. Remember, the moving average stays the same at a 20 period moving average. All we're changing is the upper and lower deviation to plus 0.382 and negative 0.382. It's your job to figure out how to do that on what current platform you're using because that's what your tech support should do for you, okay? Guess what? We made it simple by pre-formatting on our platform. That's why we always suggest you should be using our stuff. It's so simple and there's nothing you have to change. Anything from the pet D to the strategies to the indicators to the Bollinger Bands. Now, this is designed to trade quick, powerful trends as you just saw, all right? Feel free to experiment with it. You've got the basics for it. You can start looking at it right now in the next five minutes or if you haven't done so already. I'm sure a lot of you are already experimenting with it. You can apply it to any market, any time frame, any direction. I didn't show you commodities or Bitcoin, but it can be used just as well there. We have students around the world who traded on commodities and Bitcoin. But please remember, I'm really strongly suggesting that you don't jump in both feet first on Monday morning. I know your eyes are lighting up saying, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is so easy. I had a couple of students do this and they were trading intraday stocks and they made literally thousands of dollars the next week. And I told them the same thing. They emailed me to say, this is amazing, Steve. And I said, listen, you should not be trading right now. You're making too much money, most likely because you're trading with a lot of risk. You're not implementing it correctly and take it easy. And inevitably, they both went into some uh, losses for the next week because they weren't implementing the plan correctly or they had too much risk at hand. So please study it first, paper trade it so that you feel comfortable, you know a plan that you want to have in place. Our edge here is consistency. You will have small losses from time to time. That's okay as long as you have a method that's able to recoup it. Two step forward, one step back, and we strongly believe that our methods have that. But it's up to you to test for yourself because remember, everyone trades it differently. No two traders should ever trade alike. I know you've been taught the opposite by going to a chat room and everyone listening to what someone does or buying a system and everyone just takes the same signals. But that is a recipe for a disaster. Trust me, I learned this four decades ago and I learned the hard way by losing thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you should never trade the way someone else does. Should never. You should know an idea, a format that someone else is using but you should trade based on your own education and your own decisions, okay? This is how you become a consistent trader. Now, before you ask me questions, once again, I wanna ask you a question and answer honestly. Do you think this strategy could have helped your trading this past year? August is just about halfway through, all right? Halfway through the eighth month of the year. We're coming towards the finish line of 2018, if you can believe it. Is your trading anywhere near where you thought it would be at the beginning of the year? Most likely not. And I'm not saying that to be arrogant or condescending, but that's just the way it is with traders. It was the same way with me when I was starting out. And I was lucky enough to have some people that turned my trading around. Isn't it time you turned your trading around? Well, we have a great offer for all the attendees today. Time uh, for taking time out of your Saturday morning. We want to give you a great offer. We're going to offer you a 30-day trial of our platform with the strategy, strategy 3A, for only $7, okay? $7. Now, I can almost guarantee you that you spent more than $7 in commission costs alone yesterday if you traded. But you're going to get free usage of the platform for 30 days for only $7 with the strategy. You're going to get the online course with all the rules for entry, exit, stop placement, money management. So you're going to know all of these things that I'm sure you want to ask questions right now. This is only $7. So let's show you what's included because we're not just going to give you the strategy. 
We're going to give you strategy 3A, but we're also going to throw on our enhanced buy sell line. I've given other Saturday webinars about this. Most likely I'll give one in the next couple of weeks because it's another powerful tool designed to put you on the right side of the overall trend. Okay, Any strategy, any method you can apply this to, and we have four different ways in which to apply this feature. You're also going to get short-term trend identifiers. These trend identifiers are solely based on chart placement, or I should say on bar placement. So you're going to see where the bars close to show you what the short-term trend is. This is also included. The beautiful thing about this 30-day trial is that you're going, to, you're going to get a signal scanner. Let's say you love strategy 3A, but you're not able to be in front of your computer all day, and you want to trade it for the next day on a daily bar or an hourly bar, okay? Let me show you how simple it is to find out what the setups are. So you don't have to look through 500 stocks the way I did some 40 years ago when I first started trading. I looked through paper charts. There was no internet then. You can literally look through the S&P 500 in just a minute or two for all the scans you have for the next day setups. This is how simple it is on our platform. On the strategy 3A drop down menu, you see at the very bottom it says scan. Where you clicked on the signal arrows and the indicator before, now you just want to click on scan and this page will appear next to your chart, <clears throat> strategy 3A. Just hit load symbols and we provide you with different symbol lists, anywhere from S&P, NASDAQ, Bitcoin, currency pairs, futures. You can even make, we show you in uh, uh, videos how to make your own basket uh, list of stocks and they will automatically appear in a matter of seconds. I believe this is the Dow 30 right here. All right. Then all you have to do is click on scan and in less than 10, 20 seconds, you'll see a list of either red or green bars. The red bars mean that's a sell signal in strategy 3A for the next day, and the green bars mean that's a buy signal. Now, let's say we had had this presentation three weeks ago, okay? Uh, I think I was sick three weeks ago, so I didn't give a presentation. I had the flu, but let's say I had given this presentation three weeks ago, and you would have said, you know what, this is amazing. I had a 30-day trial for $7, and I scanned last night, and this is what I came up with, a buy signal in MEDP. Now I looked at it and I go, okay, well, it's kind of doing nothing, basically going sideways. And we have one, two, three, four, five. But if I look at this chart, all right, this is not telling me anything, but Steve says the chart tells you everything you need to know. Right now it's telling me that it wants to go higher. How high, I don't know, but I have different stop and exit levels that Steve has given me in the course. Now, my old chat room I went to, they said that, I shouldn't do anything here because it's in a range and nothing, it doesn't have any information and there isn't any news supposed to be coming out, so why should I trade this? But according to Steve, he says you don't have to rely on that stuff. So if you had enough faith and just listened to the source, which was the market in front of you, you could have taken this trade. The very next day, it opened and you would have gone long, okay? You would have placed your stop. At the, one of the different stop levels we give you, you would have placed your exits because you already know where the exits are. You could have just decided where you wanted to get out, okay? And it would have been a great idea on July 18th, 19th, because in two weeks, the stock gained 17 points, okay? Now, this, once again, is the way most people will look back and go, gosh, I wish, how come I didn't know this, some news that came out was going to make this stock gap up like that? Well, actually, you do know if you learn how to listen to the market, but we've never been taught how to do that. We're always taught how to listen to what the institutions are doing, or we're taught how to listen to what the earnings are supposed to be, or we're taught to listen to what the volume is telling us. From someone who used these same things 41 years ago, they didn't work then. They're not about to give you any consistency now. So why not learn, take that leap of faith, and learn how to listen to the source, the market that's right in front of you, okay? This was an actual trade that a lot of our students took some three weeks ago on July 19th. So you're going to get this, the uh, signal scanner, which allows you to see these on a nightly basis, hourly basis, 10-minute time frame, weekly. It's up to you what signal time frame you like to scan. You're also going to get 90 of the most popular technical indicators. But once again, remember, our credo, our philosophy, is not to tell you how to trade. Our credo is just to give you information that has stood the test of time. But we're not going to tell you what you can and what you cannot do the way some other traders do. We don't believe in that. So since fundamental news is not required, it's not our role to tell you not to listen to it. We don't uh, require it. But if you want to, guess what? We provide you with free Bloomberg TV. Because we know we have a lot of students that say, well, Steve, I just can't cut the umbilical cord. I need to find out what the earnings are. I need to know what, what's going on economically in the world. Well, with our 
media page icon. All you have to do is click on the icon and you'll see a live media page of Bloomberg TV with all the live news appearing as it happens right there next to your chart. So you can toggle back and forth between your chart and between the media page for live economic fundamental news. And then lastly, the $7 30-day trial comes with personalized tech support. So if you ever have any issues, if you can't load the media page, if you can't figure out how to use a chart, we will there. We will be there to respond to your, any of your issues and resolve them as soon as possible. This is an unbelievable deal for only $7. It's the trading educational portal you've been searching for. You owe it to yourself and for $7 to get on board to make the last part of the year strong. So take advantage of this 30-day trial with the PTS Primo charts. I designed this with ProTrader Strategies. Here's how to take advantage of it. Contact ProTrader Strategies. They handle all of the pricing, all the discounts, all of our uh, tech support. I would uh, probably, for $7, just click on the link at the very bottom. I don't believe that's a live link, but if you look in the chat box on the far right-hand corner of the GoToWebinar column, you'll see a, a live chat uh, box link has been posted there. So you just have to click that on. It will take you to the $7 sign-up for Strategy 3A. If you're having any difficulty or if we have too many people and it's bogging down the site or if it's just crashed, don't worry. You can call up Pro Trader Strategies at 310-598-6677. They have uh, uh, trading consultants manning the phones right now. They'll take your order over the phone and you'll be up and running ASAP, okay? So I'm gonna leave all this information up here and I wanna thank you all for holding off on any questions. If you wanna ask me a question, feel free, go to the question and answer box right now and type it in and I'll, I'll answer them. Let's see, it says, um, uh, Renee asks, says, on MT4, it's only uh, one, lists only one deviation. Well, once again, that's something you would have to talk to your tech support there. But for $7, you wouldn't even have to worry about that, Renee, because for $7, you would see how simple it is. There's nothing you have to do other than click on indicator, and you would never have to adjust that. It's already pre-canned on our platform. So I think for $7, it's well worth it than having to waste your time and be put on hold with your tech support on, on, uh, on your platform, because it's already already automatically set up, okay? Uh, Renee asked, do you also teach people how to move the stops with this method? Yes, we have different stop placements in different uh, courses in different ways, uh, and we do teach that in this, in this class, okay? So uh, there are a number of ways. Remember, we're giving you all these different variables and options. By options, I don't mean actually trading options. If you would like to trade options, that's fine. We have a number of students who use this strategy and they buy calls or buy puts. But by options, I mean we give you a, a number of different exit options, a number of different stop placement options, a number of ways to trade it. But you must decide. You know, the biggest problem I have with beginning students is they say, Steve, what should I do here? And I said, you know, we've all been trained to ask that question, but you should never ask that question. You should get the information and do some soul searching and see what makes you feel comfortable. If you're the type of trader who can't sleep at night, if you have a, a trade, uh, you know, pending, well, then maybe you shouldn't be holding positions overnight. You have to ask yourself, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should be day trading. All right, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this strategy only works well for day traders or for overnight positions. It works well in all those areas. It's up to you to decide because once you feel comfortable, then you will become consistent, okay? Most traders lose money because they feel uncomfortable right off the bat. How many times have you bought a system or a strategy? I know I did in the very beginning where I bought it I had no idea after I took the course what it was based on. I couldn't figure it out. It was too complicated and the indicators didn't make any sense. And from the very first trade, I didn't feel comfortable. I just didn't like it. It's like, why? Because I had no say. I was out of the process. So that's what we mean. You have to feel comfortable. And the only way you can do that is by becoming a part of the process, okay? Uh, question, the software will work in any stock market. Example, and you with, uh, with MT4 data. Uh, that's something, a tech support question, uh, Ravindra. I think you probably have to ask uh, the people at Pro Trader Strategies. All I know is that it, it's a uh, computer-based uh, software uh, platform, and you'll get the data. We provide you with the data, so you don't have to worry about MT4 data. Uh, you don't, uh, and, and this is just something that's offered on our platform. We're not uh, sending you the, the, the uh, up and down arrows and the... Um, the uh, proprietary Bollinger Bands to be applied to MT4 right now. Now, uh, Pro Trader Strategies may have something for that, but right now uh, that's a little expensive, and I'm trying to give you a great offer here for only seven dollars. So I think that's the better offer right now. Okay. Um, so contact if you have questions once again about data, 
Uh, if you have questions about a different platform, ProTrader Strategies can better answer that. I'm in charge of the educational and the strategy, the teaching, uh, anything with actual data, discounts, uh, different uh, 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 platforms, they can better answer any of your questions. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess most of you are calling on the phone right now or checking it out. Here's the only uh, thing I would recommend. Do not sit on this offer because most likely the price will go back up to roughly about $500. I think that's what Strategy 3A sells for. So if you're thinking that, well, I'll wait for it to get the, the video that Steve promised everybody, I'll watch it next week, and then I'll decide if I want to get that $7 offer. Most likely you won't have the $7 offer anymore. You'll have the strategy that usually runs, I think, close to $500. Don't quote me on that, but I think it may be that price. It may even be more. So if you like this, I mean, $7.00. If you're going out to get coffee this morning, most likely you're going to spend at least $7 just for one person, okay? How would you like to have 30 days of information that I've accumulated that can really put your trading on to a higher level? Well, that's what we're trying to provide for you. Remember, our goal is to educate you, and that's what the platform does, okay? So remember, if you want the details, you want the information, contact Pro Trader Strategies. You can either email them or call them directly, and you can get the information right there, okay? So in closing, I just want to say thank you so much. I hope you got something out of this. Remember, this is a great strategy. We have a number of students around the world who currently trade this, but please paper trade it first. And if you want to use it to its full capacity, please sign up for that $7 deal before it goes away, okay? Thank you so much for attending. I wish you the best of luck, and I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.